downloading the Nonsensical Podcast. The podcast which you're about to experience features several of the finest, funniest, and most nonsensical moments of the highly acclaimed show, Nonsensical, obviously. The Nonsensical Show is broadcast to the masses by Chelmsford Community Radio, 104.4 frequency modulation, in both leather and bakelite. For more information regarding the show, please send a telegram or seal down envelope to notlistening.co.uk. I will now hand you over to your host, the delightful Adam Barker, who will discuss the social concerns of the day. Adam. Oh, would you look at the time. It's time to stop what you're doing and sit back and listen to a brand new edition of Not Sensical. With your host, Adam Barker. Oh, and the actual funny one, Gary Grubb. Cue the theme music. What? No, no theme music. Well, they couldn't afford it or something? Well, what am I supposed to do now? Just make something up? Oh, okay. <clears throat> it's the not sensical show. Let's go. Let's go. Fo show. My bros. You know. Ah, whatever. Just start the damn thing. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Not Sensical here on Chelmsford Community Radio. I'm Adam. I'm Gary. Hello, Gary. Oh. 104.4 Not Sensical. Here on this Thursday, the 10th of August. Time stamped it. Do you know why? Why? It's my birthday. Oh. It's my birthday today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy birthday. My birthday today. I didn't get you nothing. Why didn't you get me anything? It's not this. I don't know. I forgot it was your birthday. You forgot. I forgot. Even I though thought, I told you. You have a birthday. We're doing a special show today. It's my birthday. And you were like, mm. Oh, when you said it was your birthday show, I thought you just being sort of cheeky. Ooh, cheeky. Ooh, cheeky. I thought, I thought you just meant you were going to be naked. Ooh, cheeky. In my birthday suit. <laughs> I thought, oh, that's a... <laughs> Well, it's it. on the radio, but still, yeah, well, people can come in. There's still Snapchat. <laughs> yeah, I can still Snapchat. <laughs> but um, because it's my birthday, I decided, you know what, I'm not going to not do my show. I'm going to go out and live my life. Oh, so you're going to tell people it's pre-recorded? No, not pre-recorded. It's live. What? It, it's live. But I'm not doing it. Someone else is going to do the show. Someone else is going. We're going to play a song. Someone else is going to take over. I oh, see. Are you confused? So we're just doing intro. This is the intro to the show. So it is, whoever's in the show now is yeah. going to press play. This is going to play. Yeah, we're, no, we're going to walk out of the studio and two people are going to come in. I oh, see what you mean. Don't get... <laughs> so we're here now. We're here. It's the 10th of August. We're here. Hello. Who's who's that? We're covering, covering, on the, covering the show? We're not going to build it up, are we? Like... Welcome to the show. It's the two people from Midriff. Oh, right. We did discuss I this. I don't know what's going on, We mate. discussed this. I don't this. know what's happening. It's Lord Butter. I don't know how sort of strict you are when people know it's pre-recorded. I just stop talking about I it. I always say it on the, on the well, show. Stop it. When it's live, I always say about pre-recorded. You make it. a joke of it. You go, oh, shit, don't say that. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> it's the fools. <laughs> don't say it. You say can't it. argue with fools, Gary. Can't, oh, can't <laughs> argue with pre-recorded, Gary. <laughs> so, we're, we're, so gonna, we're here. We're actually here. We're here. Look, this is present. I touched that. Just... I touched the present. <laughs> I shook the present to see what it was. <laughs> so we're going to step aside and we're going to let Lord Buttock and Norris Withersby <laughs> um, from <laughs> from uh, <laughs> Midriff Community Radio, they're going to take over the next hour and a half off the show playing some of their favourite songs. Wow. Are they, I mean, are they going to be used to this sort of studio? I don't know. I mean, they're used to like, top of the range. Nord- Midriff. I do not care either. Nor do I care. Nor do I care. I'm going out to have a drink for my birthday. Can I come with you? Yeah, we're going. They can come in yeah. and have Are a show. Are they going to come on later? They're oh. coming on after this next couple of songs. Are they going to know what's hit them when they come into town? I don't really care. I mean, Chelmsford's a bit rough, isn't it? Not my priority. Not my problem. Not my, prior- not my priority right now, Gary. Not my O2 priority. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's just um, go uh, into a song and, and stuff. And <laughs> let's just edit that. <laughs> no. Oh, it's live, isn't it? It's live here on CCR. Anybody could do radio, you know. Adam and Gary talking nonsense for your listening displeasure. Oh, would you look at the studio? It's filthy. 
And this is the whole of the studio. Look been. at these chairs, Norris. It's beige. It's got four legs on it. Four? We, we used to 20. 20 legs. 20 legged chairs. And what is this? Four? This, minimum, this station must be poor. Poor, a poor. I can poor. smell. I can smell the poor. Poor community radio I mean, I station. I don't want to talk into the. I don't want to talk into the microphone. No, I might catch some poor disease. I think the person that used that microphone before was that poor Gary Gary Grubman. Oh, grubby, grubby oh, Grubman. Dirty man. Dirty Gary Grubman. Did you see him? Oh, oh it, it was disgusting. He left a trail like a slug. <laughs> It was trod in his slime. It's, it is grubby slime. It's oh, disgusting. But you know, it spoke into the right one, don't you, Norris? Who? D- Adam Burker. Burker. Adam Burker. Uh, Did you smell him? I smelled him. Oh, no, he smelled like pickled onions. Uh, and you know how much I hate pickled onions. It was like onions. walking into a chip shop. It was like walking into a chip and shop. But putting your head in a deep fat fryer. <laughs> yes. Even that was more appealing than standing next rather, to him. I would rather scold. <laughs> oh, dear Barker. So we're, we, we're, we're covering that show with yes. charity and whatnot. The reason we're doing this is because it's community service. Yes. We because got, we got caught, didn't we? We drink, got caught. Drink horse riding. Did you drink horse riding? I mean, I was taking my horse for a walk through Midriff Hills. Yes. And I just, I left a, I left a gate open. Oh, um, did you? It all the countryside it got out. The country got the countryside got out. The countryside got out. There was farmers walking through the town, and, and farmers look posh. They do, they but do. they are not one of us. No, they are not they midriff. They are a different breed. Yes, they are. Uh, they chew straw, and they drive a tractor. A combine harvester. Yes, one of those they say. combine combine harvesting, harvester harvesting contraptions. And you get, once you've got a farmer in your town, oh dear me! Did you? There's a the, that, that Belgian uh, uh, farmer to come over. He started harvesting lint chocolates. Oh, lint chocolates, I tell you. Got muddy wellies all lint, in the street. Lint chocolate, how dare you? Lint. It's disgraceful. I'm a Bourneville man. <laughs> it's a fur Rocher man, I say. I got a chase for them at the embassy. You're really spoiling us. The ambassador. The ambassadors, the ambassadors came around with a tray. They said, have some gold. Gold-wrapped have chocolate. Have some gold nuts. That's it. On us. It's free. I took one from the bottom. But, but so you got done for a drink, horse riding. What did you get done for? I got drunk for spying on the Russians. <laughs> <laughs> why, why would you be punished for that if you're doing us a... There's a Russian's castle. So I'm not allowed. It's apparently it's legal to spy without a license. <laughs> you have to go to get out the post office. <laughs> yeah. I forgot to sign a form. Fifteen pounds. I did sign a form. I got mine with my fishing license. <laughs> <laughs> I can now fish and spy at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not allowed to do any of that. So, um, yeah, so I've got to do this community service here over here. For yeah, one show only. I mean, yours was... Espionage and mine was drink horse riding. Yes, I think I shouldn't be in the same room as you. <laughs> I mean, you could snap my neck. <laughs> I, don't, I told you, I haven't signed a form for that. I, don't, <laughs> I'm, I missed that class. Oh, dear, you're not double yet. <laughs> yeah, I'm just good. I just like writing things down. I like standing in the corner with a trench coat and just writing things down. Yeah. That's what I do. Like a sketch artist. <laughs> That's exactly what I am. <laughs> I've confused it. <laughs> Shall we, shall we play a song, though? Should you play a couple of songs and stuff? Let's play a Bond theme. <laughs> if, if, or one that sounds like a Bond theme, maybe. Any song that might be on. Or a song that has words in it and yes. beats. I like words. <laughs> <laughs> You're listening to Norris and Lord Buttock on Chelsea Community Radio. Not sensical. The poor station. <laughs> Adam and Gary. One spells his name correctly and the other doesn't. And you English say you've invented the language. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the show. Join Norris has left. Um, I kicked him out. Uh, today joining me for a, a bit, just a while, 
is wine connoisseur Felicity Smashing. Felicity Smashing to see you. Oh, hello there. See what I did there? Yes, I did. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> no, it's the first time I've only heard anybody say that. Felicity Smashing to see you. <clears throat> um, I love wine. Yes. Now, I hear some people drink wine. Mm-hmm. That costs less than £12 a bottle. What <laughs> sort of degenerate? <laughs> dirty, dirty, dirty degenerate. Do they shop at a cure-up? <laughs> what do you have to say? I do not like to, um... Associate myself with those people, no! No! You've still got a manly voice, haven't you? Just to <laughs> I have a cold, <laughs> and I'm angry. <laughs> you just... <laughs> people that drink it for £12 do not understand the wine. They don't understand the wine, Felicity Smashing. They do not understand wine. This Felicity Smashing. This Smashing has talked to you. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> now, I also hear people drink out of cardboard. No! Cardboard cartons. I don't know. Well, who are these people? Degenerates. Degenerates of where? De- Chelmsford. No, not Chelmsford. This, this town that we're in right now, this dirty, dirty <laughs> town, the smelly, smelly Chelmsford, they drink wine out of cardboard cartons. No. And it costs less than five pounds. I'm not having it. There is a story about this. You're the... a connoisseur, Felicity Smashing. And? Smash it up. <laughs> I heard about Chelmsford and their wine, mm. and we said, no, you're not allowed to sell wine. So what the wine people think they're drinking in this town is not actually wine. What is it? It is Ribena with a little bit of syrup in it. Syrup. Syrupy Ribena. Syrupy Ribena. With a bit of vinegar in it. A little bit of vinegar. <laughs> That's it. That's no, all I've got. That's all you've got, is it, Felicity Smashing? <laughs> That's all I've got. I'm smashing at all to you, Felicity Smashing. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Adam Barker, live on CCR, proving that anyone can do radio, and also proving that you don't have to have talent either. What an inspiration to us all. This is how Trump became president of the U.S. Learn from your past, my friends. Learn. Hello, and welcome back to CCR on the airwaves. In now, Felicity Smashing has gone. She was a smashing lady. She off her face on wine. So am I now, to be fair. She gave me some. To be fair, you know what? Wine in a cardboard case, which is not too bad. Uh, although, when I wake up in the morning, I might hate myself. Um, joining me now is genius architect. Genius architect from Midriff. He's come over here to do a special show for us. He is Bruce Agincourt Swiftly. Hello, Bruce. Hello, how are you doing? I'm the Agincourt Swiftly. Yes, I'm the Agincourt Swiftly. I'm the Agincourt Swiftly. I'm the Agincourt Swiftly. Bruce, Bruce, Bruce. I hear that the things you can do with a hammer at a level are amazing. I tell you what. I tell you what. I can do the thing with a hammer and I can do the thing with this level. Right. And I, I can build a mansion. Mm. One swift move of the hammer. Just one little swift move. Is they, that they, why I call you Swifty Lee? They call me Swifty the Hammer. Bruce Adamcourt. Because your relatives were... Thor. For, uh, the, the Hammer of God the, Thor, the, yes. The God of Thor. He was, 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 was my second cousin. <laughs> was my second cousin... And we was we were eat together. I used to meet him at meetings, like uh, for fam- we don't have family gathering, we have family meetings. meetings we used to meet up. We hello meetings in the family. Odin was there. Odin, Odin. Odin, very 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 nice chap. The Thor he, had the hammer. You Thor, had Thor. a level. I had a level. Odin had a screwdriver. No no no, it was a wrench. A wrench. A wrench. A big wrench. Wrench. Now um, now getting back to business. Yes, back to business. You're in Chelmsford. I am. I, I got lost. Doing, you are designing a house, and you are building it. Yes. Completely out of swans. Well, yes. And now how how do you get them to stay still? I mean, swans are known to be very, very fidgety. Well, everybody knows that the, the Queen, me and her, we go way, way back. The Queen. Way, way back. Way, way back. back she used to do my packing at the supermarket. <laughs> she used to do my provident loan. <laughs> she did <laughs> back in the day. She used to build me 
cars. <laughs> and I said to her, I want to make him. I want to make a house, big house, a just swans, a house. a house made of swans, a house made of swans, swans. And I said to her, I want to make a swans house. And she said, Oh, do you know what? I will give you permission to make a house with swans. Oh, so she's going to give me the swans. Well, the and swans she has be put, dead. No, she, no, they're not. They're going to be acting. The oh, swans right. are going to act like they're a house. Right. So she had to put them under a trance mm, hypno. and pay them. Hypno Queen, we used to call her. That's a Hypno Queen, yes. Back, she used to do lovely shows for us. Back in university days. Back in school. And yes, so the swans are going to just stand there and act like a house. Wow. I mean, that would be tremendous to see. But what happens if someone throws some bread at them? Well, the, the house will crumble. Well, the thing is, it, the they're house. immune to bread. They're immune to bread? Immune to bread. Immune to bread. Yeah, immune to bread. <laughs> Absolutely immune to bread. Yes. Oh. Well, Bruce, Bruce, I mean, it's great talking to you, Bruce. I mean, you built my house, didn't you, in Midworth? I did made it out of um, fish. Fish house? Yes, fish house. It's a great fish house. Yeah, it's made of salmon. In the summer, it is very, very smelly. <laughs> <laughs> Because in the winter, it's not too bad. It's, it's, it's okay in the winter. It still smells. Well, especially when it rains, but it's okay. It's elegant and slimy and scaly. And, you know, it it keeps the... Oh, no, the cats love it. <laughs> <laughs> but it keeps away the frogs. <laughs> I don't know why. That's it. That's I sweet. think frogs like fish. I don't know. What no, doesn't like fish? What doesn't like fish? Other fish that get eaten by their fish. Yeah, yeah. It keeps away the smaller fish. <laughs> it, you will not get a smaller fish in my house. And spiders. spiders. Lots of spiders. The spiders don't like it, no. Yes. Spiders don't like it. Now, Bruce. Um, famous Bruce, also Batman. Hmm? Yes. And also Bruce Lee. Oh, you're lots of Bruce's. Would you say you were up there with them? I think I'm in between Bruce Lee and Bruce Forsyth. Oh, I forgot about Forsyth. Yes. yes. A, a the forgotten Bruce. A midriff... Uh, he has a holiday home on Midriff. He has a tiny caravan. A tiny caravan. I Made of matchsticks. You know, uh, his, his wife is allowed there. His wife can't come. Um, only him, is, only for two days uh, a year is his, is his allocated time on Midriff. Uh, after that, he's kicked off the island by bouncy <laughs> bobbin. <laughs> Kicked off the island by Bouncy Bobbins, <laughs> the security guard. <laughs> I mean, you know Bouncy. I do know Bouncy. I used to go to preschool with him. He went to preschool with Bouncy Bobbins. Still, he was doing Bouncy security work at the preschool, wasn't he? Oh, yes. He, he, was, was, he, was, he, was, he was born in it. He was born, he was born, to, be born to be a Bouncy Bouncer. Bouncy Bobbins. Bouncy Bouncy <laughs> Bobbins. <laughs> Try for a song, Bruce. What yes. would you like to play, Bruce? The Grand Designs theme? Yes. <laughs> Hopefully, anything we do on this station. <laughs> Not sensical. Live here on CCR 104.4 FM. Yep, this is actually on the radio, folks. For real. <laughs> Joining me for the last section of the show. Uh, today we have Dr. Timothy Cheesecake. Timothy, that's a strange name. Which it is, isn't it? Yes. Cheesecake. Cheesecake. Are you from a family of cheesecake? Oh, dear, I thought you meant Timothy. Both are Because strange. Timothy is a very strange name. Cheesecake, not a strange name that, at all, really. I suppose if you're from a family of cheesecakes. Exactly. Uh... My mother was a cheesecake. My father was a ghetto. What was your grandfather? He was a welder. I see. I see. So it's on your... It's on your mother's side, cheesecakes. Oh, yes. I take a lot of things from my mother. Yes. I mean, like your bosoms. <laughs> your lovely bosoms. Thank you very much. <laughs> I will give them back to her because she wonders where they've gone. Now, Timothy. Doc, yes. Can I call you Timothy? You can call me whatever you like, but my name is Timothy. So I if you shall... call me Timothy, it makes sense. Okay. I will call you David. But da my name is Timothy. David? Yes, Timothy. We oh. have science here on the island. We're not on the island. We're not on the island at the moment. We are in a place called Chelmsford um, Community Radio. I'm sure they love science here too. I do. I do believe the people on this show listen to science. <laughs> <laughs> they listen to... Well, why wouldn't you? You can't, can't argue with the science. No. Well, I've heard that somewhere. You can't argue with science. You can't me. argue with the science. You cannot argue with facts. 
Anyway, we we <coughs> don't go for all that religion. We are science people. Yes, yes, we, yes, yes. I yes. mean, we have a bit of voodoo on midriff. Bit oh, of, voodoo. Of, Vo- voodoo. Voodoo? You do. I don't do voodoo. Voodoo. But I'm aware of voodoo. Are you a man with the babe? Voodoo is uh, prevalent on the island of midriff. Oh, no, yes, yes. It's, it's a nice uh, cafe. Yes. I've been there. Have you tried the cheesecake? Yes, it is offensive to my kind. <laughs> Anyway, we are here to talk about hummingbirds, I believe, Doctor. I, I do, I do. The reason for that is because my sister is a hummingbird. Is she? Yes. A hummingbird cheesecake? No, just just a hummingbird. Oh, I don't know what I'm talking about. Why would she be a cheesecake? Because you're a cheesecake, aren't you? You've been drinking cardboard wine. I've had a lot of cardboard wine. Um, yes, but you do one little thing about hummingbirds. Would you like to know a little fact about hummingbirds? Yes. They're very agile, you know. Mm-hmm. They can fly backwards. Yes, but, but not through time. <laughs> Not for time, Timothy. That's impossible. Would you can't argue with science? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I get angry when time travel is theorised on my show. Do not talk about time travel. We already talked about time travel before. When? Back in the time. I tried to build a time machine once, but it just turned out to be a barbecue. <laughs> and I don't eat outside. I'm not poor. <laughs> I eat inside <laughs> in restaurants and patisseries. Pati- My oh. wife owns a patisserie, Timothy. Oh, does she now? Yes. She really? Do- she sells cheesecake. I-, I hope I get money for that. Maybe. You have to take it off with my wife, Lady Buttock. I do love Lady Buttock. <laughs> I love Lady Buttock. No, no, I love Lady Buttock. But she's my wife. <laughs> oh, yes. No, I love her in a non cheesecake sort sense. <laughs> cheesecake. non cheesecake cool. <laughs> non cheesecake cool. Okay. So, d- do we have any hummingbirds in Chelmsford? One. Yes? Yes. Where is she? Is it he? Where is he? And he lives at number 32, Hummingbird Place. Oh. Okay. He's allergic to rats. Ray would be, wouldn't you? And only has one wing. Is, how does he bird? He doesn't. Does he just sit and hum? Doesn't like to talk about it either. Did he lose it in the war? Yes. The Great Bird War? The war- Seagulls versus pigeons? It was the, the the battle of hummingbirds on Hastings Hill. Oh, yeah. And um, it was... I don't want to talk about it. You know pigeons and fought the seagulls and the sparrows were on the seagull side and the blackbirds were on the pigeon side? I, d- I have heard this. You heard the Battle of the Birds. I heard this, and I disagree with it immensely. What side were the peacocks on? They didn't. They have a side. They watched and looked pretty. They were conscientious objectors. They sat on the fence. I saw a peacock An today. An actual fence? I saw a peacock today, and I forgot, all, I forgot all about it. Where did you see it? On the A120. Oh, why well, are you driving? You driving? No. Oh. The, the Queen was driving me. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know how she's my driver on the weekends? She loves her... Ford Fiesta. Oh, she loves a Fiesta. She does. Yes. Fiesta, Fiesta. She loves an Uno as well. <laughs> a Fiat Uno. A Fiat Uno, don't you know? Oh, no. But I did see her, a, per, per, uh, a peacock. Oh, yes? It was just hopping about on the A120. Oh. I was like, what the heck is that doing there? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't belong there at all, does it? A peacock in Chelmsford. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for coming on, Timothy Cheesecake. Thank you. Do, uh, <laughs> do try some of the cheesecake in my wife's patisserie. I'd like you to stay out of my personal business. Thank you very much. I'll try to. Thank you. Not sensical. Not sensical. Not sensical. Another attempt at a podcast where Adam gets to pretend to be funny. <laughs> and I get to pretend to laugh. Hello, I'm, my name's Paul. Um, I'm I'm Lord Buttock's uh, assistant. He's just gone out to the toilet. Um, I thought I'd cover quickly before he gets back. Um, how is everybody? Uh... What are you doing, Paul? Get away from my phone! Damn child! I'm sorry, listeners. Do not go near the microphone. Goodness me. Because got your mouth all over my microphone. Oh, you're going to get a lashing later. You just wait, Paul. Oh, I'm going to take you down the basement of the patisserie. It's getting quite dark, isn't it? <laughs> oh, dear. Yes, that's my <laughs> assistant. He's, uh, 
He's a very naughty boy. Oh, what are you doing down there, yeah. silly, silly man? Silly, silly child. I'm back. He does. He folds my slippers. I'm back, Buttock. <laughs> are you back, Buttock? Are you? Is she? Um, I I decided to walk away from the show. Yes. Go down the shop. Get one of those subways that they keep talking about. Subways. Subways. What is it? It is. It is a big. Big loaf of bread with meat inside of it. Meat? And they make it in front of you. What? So it's not done not behind the, closed doors. It's not done in the kitchen. It's done in front of you. And they what? ask you, would you like cheese or toast it? What? It was, it was just so unordinary. I didn't understand I what happened. I've heard of this. So I, I said, no! Take it back and make it properly. This is a place where they have all them breads. It's... The bread place. The bread place. And they just stand there with gloves on mm -hmm. and just make things in front of you. I don't like it. I don't like it. Go behind the scenes and do things quietly. Don't. I don't want you to s see me look at you. It's rude. Don't look at me looking at you. I felt very awkward and I felt ashamed of myself. I would be ashamed of my eyeballs. So, so as I walked out with my sandwich, yes. I took a cup filled with ice and then I threw it at her. Good. And I say, cool down, lady. Don't look at me. Look at you. Look at me. Cool down. And I walked out. <laughs> cool down, lady. Cool down. Sandwich artist. So did I miss anything from today's show? Oh, uh, yes. Paul has ruined everything. Uh, Paul. Uh, teenage Paul. Paul. He's my, he's my niece's nephew's uncle's monkey's brother. And he's just a useless bit of rubbish. Paul. He's, he's not even got any money. Have we got to the end of the show, yes? Yeah. Because I'm ready to go we back to midwit. We had an architect, we had a wine person, yes. and we had a scientist. Sounds like a great podcast to listen to. I think maybe I am losing my voice. It's <laughs> I think this is how I speak to That sends you back I now. mean, I don't know what this is. I think I just got very angry. I tell you what, yeah? it sounds like a brilliant podcast to listen to. I think maybe this is Norris. What's your name, Norris? Norris, my name's Norris. Norris, I've got so many people on my show today, Norris. And you drunk, what's this, empty cardboard wine? Oh, I'm so out of it, Norris. Um, That's why my voice keeps going like this. Chilton has changed you. I might move here. What? No, don't you yeah, dare. I might buy a flat. Don't you dare. And rent it to someone. <laughs> I might buy 20 flats and then just leave them empty. Well, when I say a flat, I mean a block. I might buy an entire town. I'm going to buy Chelmsford College. I might turn buy... it into a subway. I'm going to buy Gallywood. Yeah. Buy all the houses, turn it into a common, and just leave it empty, mm. and have it as like a zombie town. I would have it as an art installation. I'm going to buy Chilmer Village, and I'm going to demolish all the houses and rebuild them out of Lego. I'm going to make a house out of water, frozen water, ice, ice. I think it's called ice. Cool down, <laughs> cool down, ice lady. <laughs> but it's. Uh, I think. If you really look hard enough, you could find this. It's a very nice podcast. I'm going to buy a subway and make them go in the back to make the sandwiches. Yes. Like normal folk. Get out of my face with the sandwich. Oh, I can see the butter. Do not. Don't butter your bread in front of me. Do not touch salami and slap it in my bread in front of my face. Don't turn the microwave on while I'm in distance. You do not ask me how much salad I want on my bread. I don't want any salad. How dare you? I want to tell you no salad, and then you go out and make it. I am, so, I am so angry. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. I want to sit down, you walk over to me, and then you walk away from me, and then you come back to me, and then I eat and I go. I, I am sweating, Lord Butter. I can see. Which is weird, because I don't have any sweat glands. I had Chelsea, them taken out Chelsea, 30 Chelsea, years ago. Chelsea has changed you. I Do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? The air in Chelmsford is so moist. I don't like it. It's just hitting your face like a wet flannel. That is. Uh, and it's, it's dripping down your nose. It just smells of disappointment. Like a dirty, dirty urban city. <laughs> Let's go back to the country. I just didn't like this anymore. Didn't want Have to you do seen the anymore. farmers? The farmers in, in Chelmsford. They smell like mud. The muddy people. Muddy, just, muddy farmers. They just stand in their, in their fields like that with their arms out. And they just uh, don't even speak when you talk to them. No, they just they got straw coming out of their clothing, and they they got scarves wrapped around their head, and and crows and sit on them. They don't have any legs. 
They do. They just it's just, a, a stick. It's just a wooden stick. I don't like it. And you've got birds sitting on red. On your head. <laughs> on your head. <laughs> on their head. On their head. I don't even think. I don't even think the farmers doing it. I think they're on the. I think they're on the dole. On the dole. On the pole. <laughs> <laughs> the farmers on the dole pole. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I'm going to do apologise. I think we have done our time. You were done for being a. Espionage agent. Yes. I was done for drink horse riding. Yes. I think we've done our time. I think... I can't keep this horse up. I never want to return to Chelmsford again. I hope you will have to. We're going to go back to Midriff. You know what I've heard is nice? Where I'm going to have unicorn on toast. I've heard that Dunmo is nice. The great Dunmo. Oh, no, come to Flint. That's basically nice. Place place nice place place area. Area. I'm going to go there for yes, a day. Yes, yes, yes. I have family in Dunmo. Very nice. Yes, family in Dunmo. Very nice. Family in Dunmo. Family in Dunmo, yes. Family in Dunmo. Family in Dunmo. Family in Dunmo. It's in the show. Goodbye. Uh, Adam and Gay will be back at some point. <laughs> bye bye. So, Gary. That was strange, wasn't it? That was really strange. Mm. I don't really know. How's it going to go down, do you reckon? Hmm. Do you think they're going to get it? Do you think it was a bad idea that we allowed them to get on the radio? No, you know what? It was out of our hands, really, because I mean, it was a community service thing and community radio, community service. Makes and sense. Hand in hand, isn't it? Makes sense. Hand in hand. And, um, yeah, so it's my birthday and. Happy birthday. If you've got a problem with it, then take it up with people that care. You know what? Who cares? They're not even real. It's us. <laughs> Break the illusion Break of the illusion. acting and improv. Breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for listening, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you haven't, <clears throat> well, you know. Don't matter, does it? Don't right, matter, get, does it? Don't get, even know who you are. Get, get on with your life, really. If get you, up, go to work, go home, go to bed. If you, if you listen, Die. if you listen to the entire, it's a bit harsh. It's a bit harsh. If you listen to life, some, can't argue with facts, mate. Can't, can't argue life. with life. Can't argue with death. You can try, but you die. <laughs> um, so if you've listened to the entire show and at the end of it you went, didn't like that, why did you listen? <laughs> why did you listen to it then? <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot for listening. My advice is get drunk and listen to it. It's my birthday. Hey, you're thirty to eighty-five. 30, 25. How old are you? 32. 32. Yeah, I knew it was 32. 32. I know how old you are. How old are you? 30. No, I'm 32. Two years older, mate. Wiser. Yeah. Rounder. <laughs> mate, we're, I'm catching up. I want to go to the gym. I want to go to the gym. Bye, everyone. Bye. I think, I think Bubble's up next, but frankly, this, this is pre-recorded, so we don't know. <laughs> don't know. No one's here. So it's actually Thursday the 3rd. <laughs> oh. <laughs> love you, everybody. Is it the 4th? Love you. Bye. I don't actually love you. But I respect you as a person. Oh, catchphrase. <laughs> Thank you, Adam. And thank you for listening to the Not Sensical Podcast. To get in touch with Mr. Barker, please tweet at Barker Podcasts or even at Not Sensical. You can avail yourself of additional shows from the world of not listening by pointing your carrier pigeon or ear trumpet at notlistening.co.uk. You can find out more about the technological marvel that is the wireless by asking your father to pass a message to chelmsfordcommunityradio.com when he is next at his gentleman's club. Or simply retune your dial to 104.4 frequency modulation. Now, go to bed. <laughs>